Hello Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, and Cross Watchers. This is your tarot and oracle reading for the week ahead whenever you're finding it. If you're watching along as I post because you're subscribed, this will be for the week of June 10th to the 16th, 2024. So let's dive into it. First card out for you, we have all tied up in reverse. I actually feel like this is a great card. I feel like anything that has been restricting you for weeks, for months, days, years, whatever it may have been, is starting to come undone, okay? So if you've been dealing with financial restrictions, health restrictions, relationship restrictions, having not a lot of time, whatever it may be for you, I am seeing that improve. I just accidentally threw that card across the room. Hold on. <laughs> there we go. All right. <laughs> Off to a great start. Okay. Let's see what else comes out. All right, we have the first chakra, upright, Archangel Michael. Okay, beautiful life force, energy, and security. A lot of you are really getting your health routine down pat. I feel like uh, when it comes to getting good sleep, when it comes to eating the right foods, getting the right amount of exercise, you're really taking the best care that you have of yourself and your physical form than you have in years. Same thing when it comes to mental health. I feel like you know what you need when you need it. And it's like when you feel your mental health slipping, you know exactly why it's slipping, you know? It's like, oh, okay, well, my mental health is slipping because I've been drinking for the past three days or I've been binge eating donuts for the past three days. No wonder I feel like garbage, you know, whatever it may be. Like you're very conscious of how to become very healthy and uh, your root chakra is empowered at this time which is amazing your sense of security is increasing for a lot of you finances may be improving or uh, health may be improving things like that are improving okay <laughs> all right let's see what else wants to come out we have man <laughs> holding a coin yeah financially this is a great week for Capricorn, okay? Some of you may be getting a really great job, bonuses, a lot of sales, uh, just a lot of financial prosperity pouring in for you. So beautiful. Love to see it. Love to see it. Let's dive into your tarot now. We're going to pull six cards, two rows of three from the Egyptian Art Nouveau Tarot. Let's dive into it. Okay. If it looks like I've been working out, it's because I had. I just didn't feel like putting on makeup today. <laughs> we have the, I believe this is the page of swords. Or no, no. This is the two of swords. What am I thinking? Two of swords coming out. <laughs> okay, so we are seeing a situation where you're like, I'm not getting involved in it. Like, nope, putting up your boundaries. I'm sorry, but no, I can't get involved in this. Okay, so some of you may be saying no to somebody. Or put it, protecting your own heart, your own boundaries, your own peace. It's like, I'm not getting in the middle of this, okay? Someone may be coming to you with an issue, whether it's a relationship issue, a financial issue, a fill-in-the-blank issue, and they're coming to you sort of wanting you to solve their problem. And I'm seeing, nope, not doing it, okay? Protecting my peace, I'm not getting involved. Like, I'll be here for you, but I'm not doing anything. I'm going to stay out of this one, okay? Like, if you need someone to vent to, I'll listen, I'll be your safe space, but I can't give you advice. I can't get involved in the middle of this. No way, Jose. We have the Three of Wands upright. Yeah, very successful week. Capricorn, seeing your dreams unfold, seeing more of the world. There could be some travel for some of you. Beautiful. Your ships are coming home, you know. Things that you set out to do, that you set out to complete, you're seeing them finished this week. Whatever that may be. Uh, whether it's business projects that are getting completed and being put on the market. Whether this is renovations that are getting finished and you're seeing the results for. Whether it is just intentions that you inset, that you, you've set earlier this year or previously that you're finally seeing come to fruition. There's a lot of manifestation happening for you at this time. A lot of success coming in. Your ships are coming in. Um, rewards for your efforts are arriving, okay? Uh, which, yeah, for a lot of people, this could even be traveling. It's like something that you planned previously. You're thinking, oh, this might be nice. Let's plan it this way. You're actually seeing yourself doing it this week. 
and it is going nicely so that's wonderful any travel that you have around this time will be going smoothly and it'll come out like you'll have a better time than you you anticipated we do have the ten of wands so for a lot of you who are traveling or busy with something like that um there may be a little bit of stress in the days leading up to or following because you're just trying to get everything into order, like all of your responsibilities. Like you have to find somebody to watch your dog. You have to get some extra work done. Um, you know, you're just really on a time crunch here trying to take care of all your responsibilities so that way you can enjoy whatever it is that you're completing or doing. So I am seeing that. Okay, very busy week. We have the sun coming out in reverse, which kind of, to me, validates everything we just said. <laughs> like, yes, there's fun times. There's love. There's growth. There's so much going right in your life at this time. But you know, at the same time, you're still realizing like, oh, I still got to keep working. I got to grind. I got to, you know, be on my A game here. I can't just, you know, completely let loose and have a fun time. Like I got to make sure I'm staying disciplined. For example, if you're going on vacation or if you're traveling and you're, you're on this mission to be living a healthy lifestyle, eating healthy foods, you may be still disciplined while on vacation. You know, like if you, if you started a fitness journey and you want to work out every day, at least a little bit, even though you're on vacation, you're still going to go and enjoy that hotel gym, you know? So I'm seeing that remaining disciplined in the midst of happiness and um, not wanting to fall back into old ways, old patterns and habits that kept you uh, tied up, okay? Capricorn, there is uh, an energy I'm feeling for you that I'm not seeing in the cards. I'm just feeling for it, uh, feeling it, where some of you may be feeling hopeless about certain conditions or problems that you've been having with uh, your health. Where, and by hopeless, I mean like you, you may have been trying and trying and trying everything you can to eradicate a problem. And it's more so like I'm seeing you come to acceptance, come to terms like, okay, I may have this condition or this issue for the rest of my life. So how do I deal with that instead? You know, so I know that's really random. It won't apply to everyone, but I am seeing that like, okay, this is a more long-term permanent thing than I, I realized than I expected because you may have done literally everything under the sun to fix the problem and uh, it still persists. So now it turns into how can I support the organs and the bodily systems that are affected by this problem the best that I can and uh, relieve any symptoms of this problem the best that I can. You're going like shifting mindset from trying to cure this to just wanting to support your body, nurture your body and um, make life as easy as possible knowing your body. Okay, <laughs> I hope that makes sense. Okay, two more cards. Okay, two cards came out. <laughs> Very ideal. We have justice coming out in reverse. Fascinating. To me, this shows something not right being done, something unfair being done. Someone may be asking you something that is very unfair um, or expecting more out of you that was not rightfully earned or, or deserved here. So be very mindful of that. Also, be mindful of your own behavior. Make sure that you are continuing to build momentum and work with integrity in your own life, building up a momentum, putting in hard work towards your goals, your health, your whatever you're focusing on that is releasing these restraints from you, you know. What you give is what you get here. And the level of success that you'll achieve is directly corresponded to the work that you put into it. And then final card out, we have the hero font beautiful. So I'm seeing multiple things here. Number one, those of you who are single, as time goes on, as you continue to be single, you may be admitting to yourself like, you know what, I may actually want something very serious. I may want to open my heart and my life back up to a long-term serious relationship, marriage, whatever it may be. Um, so I am seeing that a shift in mindset there for those of you who are single. And then for everyone, I am feeling uh, a lot of you may be taking on some sort of formal training with a teacher, okay? And it doesn't have to be so formal to where like you're going to a university and blah, blah, blah. Like, no, this could even be something as simple as taking a cooking class and you're learning cooking from an actual teacher, 
okay? There's some sort of mentor that's showing up in your life, some sort of teacher that's showing up in your life and will help guide you and teach you some sort of skill, some sort of new lifestyle. So you're, you're following a program or a teacher. You're following, because uh, you just want to make it easy for yourself. I think Capricorn's really great at figuring things out on your own and um, being very intuitive like that. But there's sometimes where you just have so much going on in your life. It's just nice to have a program or a teacher, something that you know is going to work, like a tried and true method that doesn't require you to be in your Capricorn leadership thinking brain. It's just like, okay, I'm just going to follow these steps and then I'm going to learn this thing. It's simple, you know? So I am seeing that a lot of Capricorns are definitely learning um, in some sort of program, in some sort of apprenticeship, uh, mentorship, having some sort of teacher, even if you're not paying for it. Even if it's just like a free online class or something, I am seeing uh, that form of like traditional passing of knowledge. So very beautiful. Uh, definitely enjoy this week. I think this is a great abundant week for you. Releasing restrictions and freeing yourself from restrictions. Seeing a lot of success, a lot of money. Great week financially for you. And um, a ton of you are traveling or planning some sort of travel and just on your grind trying to take care of responsibilities, take care of work uh, to prepare for that, you know, so that's beautiful. Thank you so much. Watch for your sun, moon, rising and Venus signs to get the fullest overview of this week ahead. Like this video, comment how it resonated down below and subscribe to the channel if you've not already. If you want a personal reading with me one on one, the link to that is always in the description box, spiritpsychic.org. I also offer my intention oils there and spiritual life coaching sessions there. So check it out. Bye bye.